Hello everyone! Today I want to create fluffy fabric album using Graphic 45 Let's Get Artsy collection. Mm. I'm going to use 12 by 12 pack. Mm -hmm. 12 by 12 patterns and solids pack. Maybe I will use 8 by 8 pack. I have also ephemera set and text and frame set. And uh, I will use fabric foam album base. And uh, I want to use acrylic paints. Sprays, maybe um, I will use embossing powders, um, stencils um, and other supplies. So let's create our album. I have prepared four fabric pieces for my album pages. In my next step I want to take out fibers from the edges. Now I want to add some colors and I want to use two sprays by Lindis. And three distress oxide sprays.
when my pages were completely dry, I've sewn them around the edges. And I get a nice sewn frame all around the, my pages. Then I've covered my pages using gloss gel. Now they are a little sticky, but, the, but it's okay. And I'm going to sew my pages and make the album. I'm taking piece four and marking the middle. Then I'm taking element three and also marking the middle. This is my element four, and I'm making the marks half of inch left of the left of center and right of the center. A half of the inch here and a half of the inch here. And I'm drawing the lines. And now I'm going to make one stitch here and second stitch here. It's my element four now. And I'm taking element three and I'm making the marks a quarter inch left of the middle and right of the middle. Now I'm taking my element three and temporarily sewing in the middle of the element four. And I've made two stitch lines and I've removed this stitch. 
stitch. Now I'm taking my element two and uh, I'm I'm marking the center. And now I'm going to sew my element two, two elements three and four in the middle. Now I'm taking element one and sewing them here in the middle. My pages are ready and now I want to make the cover for my album. I've cut two chipboard pieces. They are five and three quarters by four and three quarters inch. And I'm going to glue them on the first page and on the last page this way. I've glued my cardstock pieces and also and I've also sewn around the edges. I've prepared five and three quarters by two and three quarters inch element. I've made it from watercolor paper and and I've made the score lines. First score line is um, half inch from the edge and last score line is one inch from the other edge, from the another edge. Then I've made score lines every quarter of inch and it is will be my spine. I've also prepared fabric pieces. It is one and three quarters by seven inches and I'm going to glue it inside my spine here.
I've got 12 and a quarter by 7 inches fabric piece and I've made the marks 5 and 1 edge from the edge 5 and 1 edge from another edge and on the top, on the bottom 5 and 1 edge and 5 and 1 edge and here I'm going to glue my spine this way then I'm gluing and this parts too I need to put this element under the press and uh, I'm waiting for completely drying. My element is completely dry and uh, I've made double stitching around the edges. Now I'm going to install two big eyelets on my spine, here and here. I've installed the eyelets and added a chain to the spine. Now I'm going to glue my fabric to my album. I'm, apply, I'm applying the glue only on this white part. Now I'm going to glue my fabric on my cardboard piece this way Now I'm going to glue this white part 
to this cardstock piece this way I'm not gluing my spine my spine and now I'm going to glue this fabric and now I'm going to glue this fabric now I want to apply gloss gel on my cover or you can use medium or something else Okay, let's it completely dry. Now I want to add some colors on my color. My album vase is ready and now I'm going to make my pages.
I've made all my album pages. And now I'm going to decorate my cover. I've prepared two scrapbook paper pieces. They are four and a half by five and a half inches. I've also sewn them around the edges. Now I want to decorate piece for back side of my album. And now I'm going to glue this second piece on front of the cover. And I want to add some decorative elements here.
When this dangle dries, it will become transparent. And now my album is ready. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this my tutorial and bye bye. See you soon.